alongside me is Matt Mayer, our Aston Villa correspondent. We're here at St Andrews, and Matt, I tell you what, um, second city derby drive. Where do we start? Where do we start? I mean, Jack Grealish. Well, there was only one start really. It's with, with Jack Grealish, who was obviously scored, you know, the only goal of the game to win it. But but the major talking point has taken place in the ninth minute, yep. where he has been attacked by a, by a, a, a Birmingham City fan. Uh, what say, Birmingham City fan? In the comments, who was, was run on. Um, you know, onto the pitch, uh, the ball, the, uh, after the one corner, and he's caught Grealish around the, around the side of the head, put him on the floor, sent to spot to Melee, fans been let off, arrested, uh, got himself a, a lifetime ban from, uh, from St Andrews, and, and frankly, it, it, it has, even, even though I mean, Grealish has, 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 has then provided the, the one fitting end to this game by mm -hmm. responding to that ball by scoring the, the winning goal. And really, that he was—he was—that was the only way that this game could could end with, uh, with any kind of, you know, uh, with, with any kind of kind uh, of sort of feel-good factor to it. Because, yeah. uh, you know, frankly, uh, what's happened early in the game is was absolutely disgraceful. Uh, it reflects badly on uh, certainly reflects badly on, on, on Birmingham City. Um, you know, um, it just it just shouldn't happen. But um, you know, obviously Villa, you know, Villa have won the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, talking about this, uh, the, the, certainly from a national perspective, you know, this game is, is dominated by. Yeah, and Matt, I understand it's a second city derby. And emotions are heightened. It is a feisty game, as it always has been. But you get a real sense here that a line has been crossed. Aston Villa are not happy about it, judging by the statement they've released. Well, yeah, the the FL are not happy about it either. Yeah, of course, they're not happy about it. I think it's for life. Pitch. Um, I'm sure that the, the support in question will, you know, kind of be dealt with by what we dealt with by the police now. Yeah. Um, from from a police perspective, you know, obviously there's a huge security concern there. Um, very difficult for you know, the club to, you know, it is difficult you know, to, yeah. to stop it. You know, it's just, it's just, you know up to 30,000 people in this ground, and uh, it, it is difficult to stop you know, kind of pitch invasions. But ultimately, you know, there, there has to be some kind of action taken after this. Whether it's kind of closing off rows of, uh, of seats at uh, the front of the stand or, or what, but you know, for, for Blues, who, let's face it, have done really well in a, in a very difficult season. Yeah. Um, you know, I think they're, they're probably going to look at the points deduction over financial fair play. I mean, this is just something, something more to, to, to add, you know. Yeah, but from the moment that that incident happened, the Blues could not win this game today. They could have won the game on yeah. the pitch, but they would never, you know, nobody would have, you know, been talking about that. You no. know? And you feel sorry for, for Gary Long, you feel sorry for, you know, the Blues players, you feel sorry for the, the, a lot of good people who, who uh, support this club, who work at this club, but I'm afraid that this, this mindless idiot is, is, is kind of overshadowed the whole, you know, has tarnished them. Uh, it, it tarnished the, the, you know, the name of the club. The problem for Blues is this isn't the first time it's happened. So, no. look, it's very, uh, you know, it's, it's something that they've got to obviously you know, deal with the consequences now. And, uh, what do you expect that'll be? Would that, could that be a stadium closure, Jerry? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what will uh, happen next? But, um, but obviously, it's a, you know, it's a really uh, grim day for you know, the pure football side of it. You know, where you start it was a scrappy game. Mm -hmm. Conditions didn't make it easy. You know, it was a very windy. Um, you know, Villa really battled their way to the win. The one that we can say, you know, Villa's resilience was, was quite, yeah. quite incredible. That's something that they didn't have only a few weeks ago. They were quite easily crumbled. But for whatever reason, whether it's Jack Grealish coming back, whether it's you know people on Toro and Ninja, absolutely. Was, you know, as much as Greenwich should get the headlines for me, Ninja was the match, was yeah. absolutely incredible. Um, Villa had the resilience of that and, uh, which allowed them to get over that incident and, and to go on to, to somehow to, to grind out a win. You know, they haven't ground, ground out a win, so they've, 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 this season they've had some spectacular wins, but, um, but, but not enough of these kind of victories. Uh, which, which you maybe think perhaps you know maybe 
you know, maybe, maybe they haven't got a chance if they've set things up nicely this week. Um, yeah. It's not Forest on Wednesday, so we'll have to see you know, what happens there. Yeah, I mean, it did put a bit of a downer on, on the afternoon. And in terms of Villa, I mean, it was ideal for them, that considering results yesterday and getting three points. I mean, a lot of the talk is about the Greenwich incident, and rightly so, but they have put themselves in a great position now. If they can put a run together... Well, they've, they've given themselves a chance, they've given, which, which is what they did a few weeks ago. They've taken seven points in three games now, and while you know, they're, they're still outsiders, they, they have a chance. You know, they can go in and follow this and follow it with a good result. And also, if Forest on Wednesday and it gets Middlesbrough on Saturday, then it's conceivable they could be going to the running, you know, in the thick of the, you know, the, the playoff race. Um, yeah, two clean sheets in a row. We've only conceded one goal in three and a half games now. They're more solid at the back. They've got a bit of a bit more going forward. I think they're great until they go forward. But then it wasn't that kind of game, you know, for the yeah. would go. Um, so yeah, we'll have to, you know, they've, but they've given themselves this season remains alive mm -hmm. uh, for Villa just about. Just about. So a uh, dramatic day here at St Andrews, dominated by one incident but good news for Villa three points anyway for all the latest on Jack Grealish incident and the game itself make sure you stay with Express Star.